what is up youtube and library so today i want to do a quick little look here at their android app on my samsung galaxy s20 ultra i just saw that they had an app out for for android so let's take a look at it here on my latest android phone over here which is very very big so good for video video watching so it is in here basically and if i tap on it this is basically how it looks when you open it up for the first time now if i go to the side here you can see you have this very very nice menu so let's go first you have the following tab here you can find channels basically to follow and uh, mainly it's uh, crypto people or news uh, channels if you don't know what library is it is youtube but basically decentralized and on a blockchain and has uh, it's more community governed and you can support your own videos by staking tokens so you can find it higher up in the search ranking in terms of authority so that is kind of very innovative compared to youtube where you don't have that um, a community token so the community token on library is called the lbc uh, token so okay so this is just the follow page here and if i tap up here in the corner you do have some other tabs so let's just go first with all content and what i kind of like here about this kind of section is you do have an option to either go with trending or new videos but if you click on customize here you have a very very cool option you have tags so you can search basically by tag and you can customize your tags which is kind of cool if i go up here again and uh, i go to new publish if i would want to publish something this is basically where i would go i would tap up there in the corner and i would either take a photo upload a file or record and i kind of like the user interface here uh, it goes pretty fast and if i go up here again uh, i also have a channels page here where you can basically create your own channel i have synced my my own youtube channels here which uh, i may show but you can also create your own kind of channel here and if i go back here and i go to library i can see my own library of kind of videos and i can own see my purchase history if i bought some videos uh, clearly i haven't done it over here and we have this like cool little guy up there in the middle uh, publishes would obviously be my videos if i made a new video over here which is kind of cool and uh, wallet feature this is obviously very exciting because this is something that youtubers never have seen so when you're running uh, a video network on a blockchain and it's, it's decentralized and you, and you have this you have your own lbc coin uh, it's very cool because you can send it to other people you can trade it you can sell it and um, you can also stake these lbc coins so if i would stake them in my publishers videos that i uploaded as i said it, they would get like higher authority in the search engine and um, and you can also or wait a sec yeah you i guess you can you say it, that you support your videos when you stake them in um in i think these are basically the same kind of thing uh when you when you stake lbc on your own video uh it it works as support and you can remove that support anytime you want uh it may sound a little bit complicated but if you dive deeper into it it would uh, not be that uh, complex you can also see the tips that i can earn here on my videos so other people can send you tips it is obviously in the lbc kind of currency and i have my address here if i want to uh, give it to another friend if i want to send credits these lbc coins I can just put in the address here and the amount and then just hit send so and then i can see the recent transactions here sync status with uh, with the blockchain 
very very cool this is really something that youtubers never have seen in the past and uh, you can also get quick rewards here um, if you do some stuff over here if you want to try it out but if i go to settings here you also have some features for example you can enable dark theme which is kind of cool uh, you have notification features here, which you can basically enable or disable. Pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. I also like this, um, that you can run it in the background. Uh, it doesn't work though, I think, when you turn off the display. Uh, so if I use search for, since I've synced both my YouTube channels, it means that they automatically get posted uh, on library. So if I search... Uh, if I search for my own channel, so let's see here. So I basically have synced both my channel uh, with this. So first I do have my vlog channel, uh, which is this one. And then I have my this main channel, which I'm uploading this video to. And uh, it works pretty great. Uh, so if I click here, this is a video that I posted today on YouTube and it automatically synced it to library. So that is pretty awesome. If I tap on one of my videos here, you can also see that it, uh, it starts to play. Today I'm going to unbox my new MacBook Pro. This is the Core i7 model, I think around... 900 euros cost something like that well it should be a pretty nice upgrade from my early 2015 macbook pro so this is the box quite big uh one thing i do like here this, this time around is um it's a 16 inch model and i used to have a 17 inch model and i love it so much one thing that's very cool if you want to see how this if you exit this app and you have background play on this is how it will look like so you get this kind of small player down here, which is extremely useful if you are doing other stuff on your Android device. And you can go and go and do them. And then when you want to play. It was like my favorite, it was like my favorite uh, MacBook Pro, but they stopped doing those in 2010, I think. But now they're coming back with at least a 16 inch version. So let's see if I can open this one up here. Very good loading time also. So this video is being played from uh, a blockchain basically. So it's not uh, that the video is being streamed from YouTube even though let's it see. is a YouTube well, sync. A beautiful box. And let's see. How do we open this thing up? So that is kind of nice. Now you have some other features down here. So you do have the share tab, the obvious one, but you also have a cool innovative thing here called repost. So basically when you have a channel on library, you can, uh, you can repost other people's content and it gets shown up on your page as well. It kind of like how Twitter works when you're retweeting stuff. And I think that's kind of cool because that's also something that you do not have on, um, on YouTube. You have the tip feature here. So you can tip these uh, LBC coins, which is obviously one of the most uh, interesting thing here with this little app. And uh, you also have a download, I love how they have a download button also, so you can like download the video, which is also something that I feel I'm missing from, um, that I'm missing basically from uh, YouTube. And if I tap here, uh, you can basically see, I guess, how much, maybe how much this video has been staked, or I, well, I can just see my wallet there which is which can be kind of useful as well uh, i can see the tags and also link to the video on youtube that i basically synced basically this is an early version of the library app but i sort of feel that it works pretty awesome kind of already and you can see the kind of special link it has here on uh, on their blockchain so yeah i think th they are basically innovating and um I think they already right now, like maybe in a year or so, their app is probably going to feel even better to use than the YouTube app itself 
for video for watching video content and like publish video content on in uh, in the 2020 decade so quickly look here at uh, or an early look here at uh, the library app which uh, the icon looks like this uh, on um, on android basically uh, and if you want to find it uh, let's see if I go into the Play Store and I search for LBRY this is basically how the app this is basically the app uh, and um, and there are some very very interesting information over here free open community run digital content marketplace this is a browser and wallet for library, free, open, and community-run digital marketplace. With library, you own your data, control the network, you are the network. So I think it's kind of cool how it's more community-run. And this is basically the future in many ways of um, of social media, or also on social media, but also uh, uh, with YouTube and, and Twitter and all of this, that eventually it moves to be more it's trying to move to be more community run and that's why we see this kind of cool project here so yeah quick look at it here uh, on this library android app that you can find in the play store if you want to check it out have a great day youtube and library people that watch it on that place